Tama chu, tama ora, tama noho, tama mate. Or as the good book says, God helps those who help themselves. I am convinced that a great many of the natives have no real idea of what they're signing. Perhaps it could be explained more clearly to constitute its legality. The best answer to your concerns lies in the fine speech given yesterday by this very man about to sign. He said the native mind cannot comprehend these things and must take the advice of the missionaries. But Hobson wasn't taking our advice now. <laughs> I sign this not with my hand. Which is Hickey's way of letting the other chiefs know he was the man and had the ancestry to prove it. Aye, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to go to the he iwi tahi tato. Yes, well, I, I had Williams coach me on how to say that. Uh, uh, just, uh, just a nice touch, I thought. Mm. Let's take a moment to consider the enormity of what's just occurred. Heke Pōkai, also known as Hone Heke, has now attached his considerable mana to the signing of this document. If the other chiefs sign, it could look as though they're following Heke. If they refuse, Heke might control trade with the English. an appalling sight. Naked savage carrying on, undermining the dignity of the whole occasion. <laughs> the look on Hobson's face. I feared he might have apoplexy right there on the spot. I was quite clear there were to be no more speeches. So perhaps we should just continue some. Yes, sir, indeed. Uh, the next to sign, please. Next! <laughs> <laughs> Step forth, if you please, sir. Tomati Pukatutu. Rewa. E kiana te piho pa tērā tātou a tangata whenua. Hei winiho, ka tūranga tira tātou ki rāru i a wiwi. E tai ai ngā kaura karaka nei. Kahore <laughs> The camera. Tomati Wakanene. Te hai. Koe a tonu taku hia hia e painga te tiriti mo tangata whenua, mo tātou. Ngā tātou a noo tātou whenua, te taku tai moana, ngā wairere me ngā taonga maha e tiaki. Kāore he aha ki a hone heke. Te rangatira kwa mau ki te reo o tauiwi. Ko ia te rangatira o te au hokohoko. Ko ia te rangatira whai mana. Ko ngā pūriri o tai a mai ngā rūkau pua rua ki nye rātau ki nuna whewa. Will somebody do something about that man? 
Hey, Iwi, Tahi, Tato. How do you do, Mr. Governor? <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Are there any more chiefs who wish to make their mark? Then I think that's enough for today, Mr. Freeman. Yes, sir. Uh, please make your way to the store tent to collect your blankets and tobacco. No, 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 well, that's it. The country's gone to hell in a hand card. These natives have no idea what they're in for. Good for business, no doubt. Hey, Glad. How would you like to meet a genuine Maori princess? Well, gentlemen, good day's work. Good day's work indeed. Ooh. My wife inquired if you would care to join us to dinner. I'd be delighted, old chap. But arrangements aboard ship have already been made. Another time. Ah, Mr. Colenso. Perhaps you would be so kind as to assist my officer in the fair distribution of blankets and remaining tobacco. At least Colenso got his wish to print the treaty in Te Reo. And the treaty, Te Tiriti o Waitangi, began its long journey around New Zealand and through history to become our nation's founding document. A document thrown together in a slapdash, last minute, maybe even quintessentially Kiwi kind of way. A treaty that continues to grow in mana thanks to the efforts of its champions, Tangata Whenua and Pākehā alike. In the end, about 542 chiefs signed. Many did not, but that didn't matter to Hobson or the Colonial Office. As far as they were concerned, New Zealand was now a British colony. In time, some Pākehā and even a few Māori will say that the chiefs signed away their birthright for two scarlet blankets and some tobacco. <laughs> And they are very good blankets. <laughs> the Tohunga was right. Less than two years after the signing of the treaty, Governor Hobson was dead leaving Britain's most recent colony in a little bit of a mess. But that's another story.